let's install TensorFlow in our Jupyter Notebook and let's create a project that will use TensorFlow. The first, right click and create a folder that could contain our project. Let's call it TF project, right? And inside this folder, we will have our TensorFlow files and all other required files. Now, hold shift and right click and you will see these options and you can click on open in terminal. This will open terminal in this project directory. As you can see, our terminal is opened inside this directory. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a virtual environment that will be used as the kernel in Jupyter Notebook. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. But for now, let's create a new virtual environment and inside that virtual environment, we will install TensorFlow. So to create a new virtual environment, type Python M VNV and let's name our virtual environment TF VNV. You can name it whatever you want. Hit enter and your virtual environment will be created. Come to this folder and refresh this. You will see that the virtual environment folder is created. Now we need to activate that virtual environment and the command is just type whatever you had created and then write scripts and then activate. If you are in Mac OS or Linux, you need to type source in front of this. But if you are in Windows, you will just do this and hit enter. And as you can see now, this virtual environment is activated. Now to use this as the kernel in Jupyter Notebook, first we need to install IPY kernel. So do pip install IPY kernel and IPY kernel will be installed inside this virtual environment. Okay, the spelling is wrong. It's kernel EL, not AL. And now IPY kernel is being installed. So as you can see, IPY kernel is installed. Now we are coming to the good part that is installing TensorFlow. So you can install TensorFlow like this. Pip install TensorFlow. Hit enter and TensorFlow will be installed inside this virtual environment. Now TensorFlow is also installed in our virtual environment. Now we need to set up this virtual environment so that it can be used inside Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, enter this command. And now write any name and this name will be shown inside your Jupyter Notebook. So I will write tfkernl, hit enter, and there is an error in this command. So what I have done is I have a blog post, and you can copy this command from that blog post. So I'll check that, that blog, and I'll have the link in the description below. So yeah, this is the blog post. It's double dash, not single dash, and now hit enter again. And now IPY kernel is installed. So what you can do now is open your, your notebook and let's create a new notebook and let's see if we can use TensorFlow or not. So I'm still seeing just three notebooks. So hit Ctrl R to reload this and now check this and as you can see our new TF kernel is here. So click on this and your new notebook with that kernel will be available for you. And now here let's import TensorOSTF and write print import it. Hit Ctrl Enter to run this. And as you can see, imported is printed. That means we have successfully imported TensorFlow. Now you can create your TensorFlow project inside Jupyter Notebook. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.